The Nairobi Securities Exchange listed Lender Stanbic Bank saw its net interest income grow by 35% to 25.6 billion shillings driven by a balance sheet growth and expansion in margins on interest earning assets. Customer deposits rose by 18% to 321 billion shillings while loans and advances increased by 10% to 261 billion shillings. Interest expense on account of rising cost of funding went up 72%. That gives us a profitability uh, growth uh, year on year of 34%. Continue to enhance efficiency for us. So cost to income ratio, despite the headwinds that you see, the depreciation of the currency, we will see ourselves remaining at. So you can see we are pushing it down to 41%. Meanwhile, the Kenya Invest Authority, Kenya Invest, has concluded its public participation forums on the Kenya Investment Promotion and Facilitation Bill 2023 in Isiolo County, targeting the frontier counties. The Investment Promotion Act initially adopted and enacted 2004 has undergone a comprehensive review after over 19 years in use. Some of the proposed amendments include the renaming of the Act to Investment Promotion and Facilitation Bill 2023, alignment with bottom-up economic transformation agenda, mandatory registration of investors for data capturing and reporting. The proposed Investment Promotion and Facilitation Bill aims to address several key challenges faced by investors. It focuses on simplifying administrative procedures, enhancing transparency, and reducing bureaucratic hurdles. So we'll have and finally, Suzu East Africa has obtained distributorship rights over UD trucks in Kenya and will now be responsible for assembly, sales, and after-sale support of UD trucks. So we are planning to invest about 8 million Kenya shillings initial, initially uh, to, to set up our operations for UD trucks. Uh, but over and above that, there's a lot of other costs, cost of training, building the capacity of our people so that they're able to take care of uh, our customers. Linda Koskeke, 24TV.